Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Uh, today we are in the application GarageBand. If you have a Mac, you know what GarageBand is. It is the local uh, audio editing software that comes with the iLife suite within the uh, Macintosh platform. It's a really neat application that allows you to edit audio in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I today am going to be showing you how to produce, or not produce really, but how to create and get started uh, with your own podcast. So, first things first, obviously, you need to have GarageBand installed on your computer. If you do not have that, you can go to Google, type in GarageBand, or go to Apple's website. It is also available on the App Store for a price of, actually, don't quote me on the price. Uh, just go to the App Store, search for GarageBand, and it will be in there. Uh, so, first things first, open up GarageBand, go to a New Project right here. Uh, within the New Project tab, you will see a few different options here. Uh, you got a bunch of uh, electronic uh, instruments here. You got some loops, keyboard, uh, movie, songwriting, acoustic instrument. Uh, the one you want to select to do a podcast would be obviously this one right here, podcast. Once you select that one, go ahead down here to the right hand column or right hand side here. Choose. Go ahead and choose that. Once you are there, you're going to title your podcast. Okay, so I'm going to call this one podcast tutorial. Okay, if I can spell. There we go. Uh, press enter or OK. Once you do that, GarageBand will then open up this template for you. Uh, the first thing that you'll see over here to the left will be male voice, female voice, and jingles. Okay, let me explain both of those. If you are a male, a uh, you will want to be recording under this track right here. If you are a female, you will want to be recording under this track right here. In order to record under a specific track, you will just need to select that track. It will be highlighted blue as you see right there. Now, the next thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that all of your settings are set correctly. Uh, first and foremost, if you do want to add some effects or a different sound to your voice, you can go over here and double click on it over here on the left hand side. And once you do that, you will see over here a few things open up. Uh, the bottom two here, you'll see podcasting and vocals. Uh, so you can go to podcasting and apply female narrator voice, you know, male narrator voice, male radio. You can even go down here to vocals, and you can even add a helium breath, make you sound like the chipmunks, uh, gospel choir, female rock voice, male speech, megaphone. You can play around with this and get the desired effect that you may want. Uh, so once you've done all that, you've got the vocals set up to be the way you want it. I'm going to set my at Mail Basic over here. Go ahead and make sure your recording volume is set at exactly what it is once you open the program. Do not adjust this unless you need to afterwards. That will just, uh, you know, if you're if you're a person who speaks very softly, you may need to go back and do that, but you can set the track volume after you record. So, once you've done that, once you've got your podcast track up, then you'll need to go to Mail Voice and make sure you've got it, or whatever you are, if you're female or male, whatever it may be. Then once you're done with that, it is time to record your lesson vocals. Uh, go down here to the bottom hand center of the screen. You will see a big red dot. That means to start recording. Go ahead and click on that button right there. Once you do that, you will see that your voice is starting to record. You will see little bumps in the uh, line here. That means that it's picking up your audio. Uh, once you do that and you have the desired um, duration of, of whatever the audio file that you want, once you're done recording, all you have to do is go over here and press the record button once again. So let's say I am done recording. Boom. I press the record button. Go ahead and press stop. And to get back to the beginning of this recording, go ahead and hit this button right here in the middle. This will take you all the way back to the beginning of your recording. And then to play back what we just uh, did, you go ahead and press play. And you will be hearing yourself once that red line moves. You will be hearing yourself. Now, if you are satisfied with the uh, audio that you have produced here and you want to create a podcast out of that, you will first need to create that into an MP3 file. And this will be the last step that I will show you in this video. And then once uh, I am done with this video, I will do a part two that will show you how to set that up to a podcast RSS feed. So you'll need to go up here to share and then you'll need to go to send podcast to iTunes. It is the first option here. So share, send podcast to iTunes. Once you do that there, it'll come up with this here, whatever iTunes playlist you want to add it to, your, your name, your composer name, album name. This really does not matter. This is primarily to go ahead and uh, convert this into an MP3. So once you're done doing that, make sure the compress is using the MP3 encoder. Go ahead and go to share. I'm going to title this podcast tutorial and I'm going to go ahead and uh, make the um, 
the name will be my name and I'm gonna go ahead and share that go ahead and click the share button there it will say the project will not export as an enhanced podcast that is fine go ahead and hit continue there it will create the mix down it will preview this it will then open it up within iTunes go ahead and open iTunes and as you can see here my podcast tutorial is within iTunes if I want to drag that over to my desktop obviously I can do that by clicking and holding and dragging the file uh, over to my desktop just like this right here boom you'll see the green plus sign once I do that shrink iTunes and there it will be podcast tutorial on your desktop so guys hopefully this helps you out if you've got any questions about making a podcast within GarageBand go ahead and put them in the comment box below uh, thank you so much for watching this video uh, look forward to producing more content for you guys don't forget to rate comment and subscribe it does help me out and I will see you guys next time